Hey there, I'm back. Um, so, I probably didn't clarify last time, and I'll go over it this time, that I am being deported. Oh, shocker, that's a terrible word to say, but I am literally being deported. Why? Because I missed a meeting, and the more important one, which was actually part of my case, is that my case involves stalking, which was the criminal justice, um, not like a refugee claim. So as soon as my stalkers were arrested, I um, no longer qualified as a protected person. So my protection status was alleviated, uh, taken away. <laughs> but the reason why I'm personally having to wait for this severe amount of time is because um, because I don't have a passport. I cost Roxham Road without a passport to uh, Canada, from Roxham Road to Canada, when it existed back in August of 2021, even though literally nobody was crossing. I, I was one of the only few that was let, a, let across, let, allowed to cross. Um, but now it's not it's not not active, not open, and when you cross a border, you do have the possibility that you might get shot. So, um, just a warning: just be careful and don't don't do anything stupid. Roxham Road is not open anymore at all. But the reason why I'm personally um, having to wait for so much time is because I have to wait for my passport and I have to buy a plane ticket to get out of here. Um, the passport, my embassy called me and before the passport, sorry, my embassy called me before and told me that it would be a short amount of time, but they haven't t told me in a, like a month. They haven't called me in like a month for when the amount of time will be. Um, we're not certain on that. But I'm right now in the hospital waiting for um, response from my embassy, which I suspect will probably be by the end of the new year. Um, if not, don't know. Um, but they're actually talking to immigration. So everything's fine on my, in my, my personal life for that situation. But I've seen from personal experience other people because they already had a passport, uh they were told to leave within like a week. So don't expect that just because you think that you can cross the border, you you won't be out of the country in under like a week if um you cross, attempt to cross the border without a passport, which you can't do anymore because it's not allowed for you to cross without a passport and you have to actually literally be a, a, an already applied as a refugee to be a refugee now. I was only a refugee because of the fact that um, I had stalkers. I had very, very dangerous stalkers. Now that they've been arrested, like I stated, I don't have the protection status anymore. I'm still technically considered protected by the country I am until I leave, but my embassy has stepped in and that's the other part of the the whole whether or not you need protection status is when if your country steps up and says, oh hey, we didn't know about this circumstance and um, that's up for debate because I really did tell them, but because they are stepping up and they are able to take care of the situation, I didn't need the protection status from Canada anymore. So I'm being deported, but it is a soft deportation, a very polite one, which I really appreciate. But I'm just sharing my story because I enjoy talking about this. And it was a very interesting experience to live through. And I don't think that very many people are aware of how interesting it is if you can't, if they're not able to subtract their own life story from um, 
other people's viewpoints of what what is actually happening because when you hear the word deportion everybody is always like oh my god that's such just a scary topic which I'm gonna get into more in another video because I think that this is a very interesting thing to talk about because in in my experience I never ran into I didn't ask for trouble too but I didn't run into any um, bad experience with being deported and I, I don't know where the stereotype even comes from but it should be interesting for me to get into that topic later on to talk about what the process of deportion is and how that happens because right now I'm at the step where I'm just waiting for a passport but other people are able to buy the plane ticket and um you're apparently supposed to turn yourself into immigration. That should be very interesting. So I'll keep you all updated for how that goes. And I'm not going to record anything about what they're doing or what they do, but I'll take pictures on the plane. I'll try to make sure that I have videos on the ride home because it's going to be about like, I think it said it was like four to eight hours flight. Um, sounds about right. Alrighty. Well, I will keep y'all updated. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and the like button. Okay, bye.